don't know. You don't. I have so <laughs> Nice. Okay. I've never owned Astros, but I know that they're hella popular in the mid 2010s. Like every single Call of Duty player got sponsored by Astro and had the Astro at Question: What's an Astro? <laughs> it's a headset brand. Oh, got you. They were like super popular back in Call of Duty days for Xbox and PS4 and, or PS3 and stuff. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. widely regarded as the best. For yeah, they were regarded as the best. Uh, but I do think a lot of advertisement had to do with that because every single one top player got sponsored by Astro. Mm -hmm. Have a good no, night, Kami. Like, genius to them. Like, they had all the money in the world to really sponsor whoever they wanted to. Which helped them, you know, promoting wise. Well, yeah, I feel like back in the day, this perception has kind of gone away a little bit, but I think there used to be a huge, like, association of, like, what top players used in their equipment. And, like, kind of like football, it'd be like, it's like, oh, well, like, you know, Faker uses the, the Razor Black Widow, so, you know, I kind of want to be like him be good. It's like there's way more of an assumption of, like, the equipment you had being, like, the factor of why top players were Oh yeah. It's like, oh well Faker Faker is simply good because he has this product, this product, and this product. I must be like Faker. Well, let me go buy this and you can see that. I feel like it varies a lot today just because of like all the stuff like that is kind of, like it's not just one big brand because there's so many different like off brands or like smaller brands that make the same thing just like for a different price. It can be the same quality. Yeah, mm -hmm. nowadays like, it's like, oh I have it's like can I do it? You know, now it's, uh, now it's, do I have the gaming product, whether or not it's made by Razer or what, it's like, is my mouse game gaming? It's, if it's yeah. not, how can I even play? It's like, dude, if you go buy an $8 gaming mouse, it's a regular mouse, just with lights on it, and they actually spent more money on the lights, so you can feel like a gamer, so. Marketing. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you can go buy a $2 mouse, and it'll be just as, like, accurate as your $20 gaming mouse. RGB lights. Mm -hmm. You can go buy a twenty dollar gaming keyboard that has RGB lights on it, and it'll be just as accurate as a two dollar like thrift store keyboard. You know, like. Again, there's nothing wrong with gaming products, though. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that yeah, a lot of people like attach to the skill of how people are to those products. I think that's why the marketing works so well, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah of course. Bad in the game, it's like how do I get good at this game? And then next thing you know, Logitech tells Faker, say, okay. Say that it's our keyboard that makes you good. Yep. And that's... So, like, it's, like, also the same reason that, like, when Fortnite skins were a thing, people would, like, promote getting Fortnite skins, and, like, all the kids were like, that's gonna help me play better. It's like, sir. Did kids actually think that with Fortnite skins, though? Because that's crazy if that's the case. Yeah. No, some kids, like, genuinely did. Like, that's 